And we're back to the Super Bowl BT7274. Reevaluate your definition of a shortcut. Look at that humor, it's great. Okay, now, uh. <laughs> Out. Ooh, what kind of toys, Ash? Get in the hole. Who is that? I'm just a grunt. Oh yeah, we got a shotgun. So this facility also houses two giant towers full of local monsters. Oh, I'm sorry. Fido. I guess we're at the point, like I was mentioning before in, the, uh, in a previous episode, potentially the last one, I don't even know. Uh, the amount of like income or or like economic scale from the rest of these people's oh shit planets kind of just like dwarfs any cost of a giant facility like this so they can afford to just fucking oh this way they can afford to just build and destroy massive multi-trillion dollar facilities in just huge caves for some reason rather than above ground this place is falling apart I suggest we leave. You are not far from my location. Marking your HUD. That was an accident. I didn't mean to shoot that at spiders. Oh my god, I can barely hit a guy. Alright. It's time to try our new weapon. Where it went around me the other way. Hello. It's so futuristic. Look at. I kind of like black and light blue is a pretty cool color combination. I've kind of taken a liking to it lately. Black, light blue with a bit of orange. Got all that contrast. All that future, as Squidward would say. And hexagons, you always did definitely do hexagons. Broken hexagons. Road segments. Give me that time. I want the helmet. Oh, it's BT. This is a highly dangerous environment. Suggest you embark on it. Yeah, okay. Uh, this rocket thing fires one, two, three, four, five. Where do I get all these pods from? I don't like it. I kind of like the tone instead with the cannon and the shield. I can't jump though in this thing, which kind of bugs me. Get fucked. Take it down. Like we've taken it down many times before. With one or two regular titans. Oh, he's got three titans. Who's this? It's a Ronin. I'm guessing Ronin uses uh, katanas. Yeah. Better than you. Where is this? Now, is, is Limey like really racist or is it just kind of like sort of racist? Is it okay if I call these guys Limey bastards? I don't know. North Star, right? Eh? Now, there's another guy over here somewhere too. 
I'm saving my Salvar core. Don't get cocky. Who's that? Is that Star Fox 64? Oh, you just did your dodge. You can't. Oh, well, you did the wall. Good work. Whew. Uh, now, if if you kill a um, what's her name, Diva? If you kill a Diva after she's thrown her ult, does her ult disappear or does it still go off? Because I mean, that guy was just throwing us ult. Or or what's that? The the girl who's like the flyer, you know, the one who shoots missiles from the sky in Overwatch. If you kill her while she's doing her ult, I guess her ult just kind of stops. Was there was there like a, a boss or something right there? I thought I remember a boss being right there. Maybe not. Hmm. There was that Ronin. That was the first one I've seen, but nothing really happened. Fight them, doggos. Oh, come on. I didn't want to fight the little dogs by myself. So to kill me, apparently I'm such a threat to their operation that they're destroying this entire facility to just to kill me. And I know she said it was overkill, and it is definitely overkill. It just seems like I know you're I know you're cool and everything, but like, are you also retarded? That's my question. <laughs> it's like let's destroy the United States to kill uh, Edward Snowden. Fine, maybe not the United States. Let's kill Walmart. Let's destroy Walmart to kill Edward Snowden. That seems like more of a value. Oh shit! Who's this? Oh my god, she's so cool. It's Ash. This is after the Final Fantasy. After the Final Fantasy 12. Okay. I saved my ult for you! I'm reloading! Oh, I dodged your shit. Melee when close to execute. Oh, I need to do that. No, I need to melee when close to execute. Oh, I fucking... Oh my god. BT, you're so fucking cool. Oh, I'm sorry. You had to see that. I I destroyed your captain. You should run away from me. I'm even scared of myself now. I probably was really close to dying too. I wasn't really paying attention. Boys, boys. I can just... <laughs> are you a little... Oh, are you scared? Are you scared? Oh, okay. What are you... How do you feel? How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good? I think you should take a nap. Gotta love the... No I, I feel like if I'm looking straight down, I should be able to see my legs. I mean, actually, can I look straight down when I'm in a mech like this? Unless it's just like a BT's little forward-facing camera eye thing that looks down instead of my whole body. Yeah, okay. So that was a joke because, you know, it was a shortcut to the whole thing. I wasn't really listening this time. So we're coming up on what I think is... If I'm correct... No, no, it's not. It's not. There's one really cool level that's coming up that I think is really awesome. Uh, we're not quite there yet. We've been, we got about 10 minutes here. Go another. That's always my question. My big question for Jay is do I end the episode with 10 minute episode? Because it's got a good point here, or do I, you know, make it to 15? So I'll go to 15 this time. Effect and cause. It's witty. Oh shit, that is this level. 
So, okay. It's too quiet. Too quiet. All right, I'm proceeding cautiously. Now, this is an interesting level. The uh, This is where, because this whole time so far, we've been trying to get to Anderson, which is like, I guess, the general or some s s commander dude. Overseer requests all teams working on the art analysis report to the actual The general artist presentation. This kind of reminds me of Mass Effect now. Is this some kind of like uh, Fallout 3, like drug-induced visions, or is this some kind of like visions of the past? Like happy face robots walking around. What just happened? There are distortions throughout this facility, and they appear to be causing a rift in time. I advise caution until we have further information. A rift in time? How does that happen? Unknown. Militia SRS has documented several cases on other planets. Decisively neutralize the militia forces. We will in fact safeguard the existence of the Thank you, subtitles, for letting me listen to more of that lecture. So apparently, this has happened before. We're in some new facility. What does this guy say? Oh, audio logs. Okay, so this is obviously a, uh, what do you call it? I don't even know what they're called, the IFC, like the International F Fucking Corporation. They're pretty, okay, let's just call them the Empire. So the Empire is like telling everyone that we need to die to safeguard humanity. Oh shit, it's just a robot, dude. God, I'm gonna punch that guy in the head. Okay. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. More dead robots, dead people. What? These things are like the fucking alpha predators here. Kind of like, uh. What was I gonna say? Kind of reminds me of a very, like, Mass Effect style building, but also kind of reminds me of, like, uh, EDF with these dragons flying around everywhere. Oh, hey. Other timeline. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, wait, I'm actually there. So, when I see those things, I'm actually not just seeing them, but I'm being, like, transported back in time. All right, where's the information center in here? Oh, 
Oh shit. That's Anderson? Anderson, what happened? Give me that helmet. Authoritatively places on belt. Anderson's dead. Glad I have his helmet. Unlike him, it appears to be in one piece. Oh, yeah. Well done. If you bring it to me, I can analyze his helmet for important data. Got it. Okay. I'll bring it to him in the next episode. Uh, what words on the screen can I use to make a witty title this time? Let's call it Majorson's Hell. No, that's that's stupid. That's just so. Stu I'm sorry. 